When I came to Seattle in 1981, I was a refugee from a bad marriage and a worse divorce. I was in the life insurance business at the time, and I heard about the Dale Carnegie course. I thought the Dale Carnegie course would turn me into a better life insurance salesman. So I signed up, I got to the, I, I paid my tuition, my company was going to pay half of it. I got to the first class and found out it was a course in public speaking. I tried to get my money back, they wouldn't refund it, so I took the course anyway. In that course you do a number of talks, you're required to do a number of talks. And in one of them I told a story of an encounter my first husband and I had with a serial killer in Tucson in 1970. When I finished speaking, one of my fellow classmates I don't think there's any way to mute that. No, After I gave my talk at Dale Carnegie, someone who was in the class came up and said to me, someone should write a book about that. Well, I had always wanted to be a writer. My first husband said, there's only going to be one writer in our family. And so I thought, well, I'm divorced. What have I got to lose? So I sat down to write my first book. My first book didn't sell. My second book did sell. But there is about a year and a half pause between writing a book, selling it, and having it published. So in that year and a half, I sent myself to Toastmasters. And I believe between Dale Carnegie and Toastmasters, I have gotten my money's worth <laughs> out, of, out of both of those. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, Toastmasters is available all over the country, uh, and it's, it's practice in getting up and doing public speaking when your knees are still knocking and you can't imagine that you'll be able to, to say anything. I, one of the people in my Toastmasters class, in, I encountered them at a, a speech or one of the book signings. I encountered them at a book signing. And they said they still remembered my introduction, my introductory speech in Toastmasters, mm -hmm. because I came and started the speech dressed in my insurance sales attire. And by the time the speech was over, I was dressed in my soccer referee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But at the time, I was a single mother, and that was, I was wearing those two hats. I think uh, people who are writers assume that you're sort of a hermit, and you write your books, and then the books magically sell. Well, the truth is, you have to sell them. This is my 48th book. I have done a minimum of 30 book signings and accompanying talks for that many books. So yes, I'm a very experienced public speaker. This particular book, Second Watch, has some very serious themes in it. But people come to book signings expecting to have fun and you need to have the contrast between light and dark. You can't just be all dark and you can't be all light. There has to be movement back and forth between those two modes. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's my public speaking story. Bella has had no public speaking training. <laughs>